hello everyone in this video I'm going to explain stop and wait protocol in networking uh, before going to start for stop and wait protocol just have a look on a simple protocol so this protocol actually send keep on sending uh, packets to receiver so we are having a scenario a sender has to send some packets to receiver so in that case sender will keep on send a sending packet to receiver now it might be possible that receiver machine is not that efficient it's not uh, able to process incoming packet quickly so there will be a chances of dropping a receiver machine will drop incoming packet and sender also uh, not uh, having this idea whether sent packet are received at receiver successfully or not so simple protocol uh, where packets are sent to receiver there is no flow control there is no error control if uh, during transmission if the packet is corrupted receiver would know or wouldn't know whether that packet is corrupted or not so in order to provide these two mechanism flow control error control we are having stop and wait protocol so how this protocol works uh, in this protocol whenever a packet is sent to receiver receiver actually send a reply in form of acknowledgement so after receiving that acknowledgement sender will be getting this idea that packet has been received successfully now it might be possible that if a receiver sending acknowledgement if that acknowledgement is lost during transmission how sender would know that there is a case of lost acknowledgement so in that case sender actually attach a timer for every packet whenever a packet is sent a timer start counting and that timer is having a particular value so if a acknowledgement for that packet is received uh, in that duration it's okay otherwise if that timer is expired packet will be sent again so this is the situation a packet will be sent to receiver timer start counting receiver will check this whether this packet is uh, corrupted or not so it can be checked by using checksum every packet will be will be having a checksum receiver also calculate checksum and it will compare this value with uh, checksum filled in packet so in case if there is no error receiver will send a reply in form of acknowledgement and whenever sender will receive this acknowledgement now it will be considered that the transmission of this packet is successful now it will repeat same process for other packets so this is the basic mechanism of stop and wait protocol now uh, in this protocol uh, sender and receiver both actually uses a sliding window of size 1 what is the meaning of sliding window uh, at sender side this window can have only one packet and current packet whatever packet uh, reside in this window that packet me meaning of that packet is that this packet is transmitted and acknowledgement for this packet is waiting so this is the meaning of sender window and at receiver side uh, receiver side this window represent that uh, this packet is expected to arrive from sender side so these are the meaning of uh, window in uh, sender and receiver machine now uh, here I will explain why we need sequence number and acknowledgement number in stop and wait protocol so I am discussing here four scenario so first scenario uh, let's say frame is sent to receiver and receiver will send a reply and this acknowledgement actually sent before this timeout so it will be considered a successful transmission so there is no issue now let's consider the second scenario in this scenario frame is transmitted successfully to receiver and receiver send acknowledgement but that acknowledgement is lost during transmission and uh, at sender side there is no acknowledgement received for this duration so sender will again retransmit that frame and now receiver will send acknowledgement and let's say this acknowledgement is received at sender side so if you can see here 
receiver actually received here two copy for same packet so this packet was received here successfully but that packet again received here so duplicate packet are received now let's consider third scenario in third scenario if frame is lost so in that case the receiver will not send any acknowledgement sender will not receive any acknowledgement and after timeout it will again retransmit so here also receiver is receiving only one packet now last scenario let's say frame is transmitted and receiver send the acknowledgement but this acknowledgement got delayed because there is a congestion in network and because of timeout sender actually sent another frame to receiver and receiver again send reply of this frame as well so here also same packet received twice so how receiver going to find out whether a packet is already received or not so for that purpose stop and wait protocol actually have provision for sequence number and acknowledgement number so what is sequence number every packet will be attached a number and that number will be considered as a sequence number so let's say uh, send is sending a packet and that packet having a sequence number sq so if receiver uh, received a error free packet it will send a acknowledgement so uh, in acknowledgement uh, what receiver will send receiver will send next expected packet so sq plus 1 the meaning of this acknowledgement is that that receiver is expecting next packet to arrive so in stop and wait actually uh, this is the scenario let's say this is the sender right now this packet is in the sending window and this is the receiving window so sending window it means this packet is going to be sent and acknowledgement for this packet is waiting so let's say this packet is sent uh, and uh, actually we have uh, there is a movement actually because we have shown this window already for this packet but this window actually captures this packet after sending to the receiver node so here when receiver receive this packet x and if this packet is error free so receiver will compare this packet with this packet so if both matched it means uh, receiver has received a expected packet and now this window will be moved to the next packet and receiver will send a acknowledgement to sender so in acknowledgement it will send what is the next packet it is expected so this packet will be sent to receiver and after receiving this acknowledgement sender would know that packet with sequence number x is successfully received at receiver site now the next packet i need to send is x plus 1 and now it will send next packet and move sliding window to the next packet so uh, in the stop and wait protocol only two sequence number are needed so first sequence number is 0 and second sequence number 1 so only one bit is sufficient in case of stop and wait protocol so here i am uh, taking that uh, duplicate packet scenario so we will see here how stop and wait protocol actually avoid that duplicate packet receiving so let's say at uh, sender side a current packet which is going to be sent to receiver is zero sequence number so it will send a frame with zero sequence number and receiver also expecting zero sequence number packet so after receiving this packet receiver will move its window to one and receiver will send a acknowledgement what is the acknowledgement containing this acknowledgement it's containing sequence number of packet which is uh, expected by receiver so receiver is expecting packet with sequence number one so this sequence number will be attached with acknowledgement and let's say this acknowledgement is lost during transmission so what will happen here after this timeout sender will again retransmit frame zero but here receiver when receiver receive this frame uh, if this one is error free in that case it will compare received with the expected but if you can see here it's uh, the receiver side actually expecting packet with one sequence but it has received a packet with zero sequence 
it means there is a mismatch in that case this packet will be discarded receiver will not receive this packet and what receiver will do receiver will again send the acknowledgement for this sequence number so if you can see this problem is solved here now no more uh, duplicate packet received by receiver whenever a duplicate packet arrived at receiver site receiver simply discard it so this is the mechanism of stop and wait protocol thank you very much for watching